<laughs> Ten people looking at it, then they don't care. Roaches. <laughs> Ball headed oh, scallywags. Oh, oh shit. Clap. <laughs> roaches will survive the apocalypse, so, so I don't want to be roaches. Let them be flies. Oh, poop. <laughs> You just said clap. You ain't even clap. Clap. There we go. Now look. <laughs> like the tip changes. The <laughs> so the other day, right? Mm -hmm. My cousin was asking me about tipping. Mm -hmm. If you feel, well, if you have a bill mm -hmm. that's higher than usual, right? Mm -hmm. Do you feel like the higher the bill, the less you should tip? Because some people feel like that. I think tip is based on the services that you receive. Okay. If no matter how high the bill is, how low it is, if they do a good job, they get they deserve a good tip. If they did a shitty job, like write them letters, say don't do this again, mm -hmm. give them a dollar or something. I think tip is based on how you, uh, services received. Uh, that's what I feel. And you feel like this, no matter if it's your hair, restaurants, your mm -hmm. nails, what mm -hmm. you feel like is a good tip. I know. I mean, sometimes I tip. One time I tip forty dollars. One time I tip thirty. You know, it depends on how I feel that day. Mm -hmm. Honestly, but I don't try to tip under ten dollars a day. Oh, you a good tipper, Shari. <laughs> that's good. Maybe you got a good heart. You know, some people they feel like if I give you anything, that should be good enough. So those numbers, those some good numbers. Have you ever been in the service industry? Like, did you used to wait tables, bartend, or anything? Mm -mm. A home bartend. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I never bartend. Uh uh. You have a you have a tip uh cup, the red cup when you when you do that at home. I'll be drunk all the we just we just we <laughs> all in this together. <laughs> all in this together. You know that, 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 that. I never. My first job, honestly, was working at Burger King. Mm -hmm. About like two months. That's the only closest thing I came to where, and they don't even give tips there. I never, mm -mm. we're knock on wood, we're with it. Something. I'm scared knock on the table. But <laughs> I haven't worked in the industry where I'll be, my pay is kind of based off of tips. So. But you're mindful of it. Yeah, because I know they don't get paid as much as others because they, their pay. On the tips. Yeah, tips as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, with the situation, this was a hair situation, uh -huh. a hair appointment. Uh -huh. So say, because some people have said that before that they feel like the higher the service, they shouldn't have to tip on top of that. Like if I pay 400 for some braids, I shouldn't have to tip on top of that 400 It should just be enough. But I felt like you're still supposed to tip. I won't tell you in history, and I won't still tip regardless of hair. Hair, or whatever, I'm gonna still tip if somebody gives services like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't agree on it. You don't agree on it. I don't it. agree. That's good. I, I mean, it's still a service I'm getting rendered. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I might like give like I might give like a ten dollar tip. I might come like bring breakfast or something like that. Right. Yeah, I bring something else. It might else not be in money form. Yeah, I get my nails done. I'm like, I might not. I'm. I might not give her, I probably give her a $10 tip. I'm like, I bring you maybe a smoothie or some Starbucks or something like that because that's how I am. Yeah, that bounce out. Yeah, I don't. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that bounce out. Then if I if I can't factor in the tip, yeah, well, I'm not then I don't point. go. See? Yeah, what's the point? What's the point? Look at us being look, twins. Look at being adults, mature that's adults. that's exactly how I feel. That's why, like, sometimes even if I'm going out with somebody, like, if I'm on a date, and he's paying, I still be real big on doing the tip. Because I'm like, you might not tip him right. I, you know what? I always was a person. I go on there. I want to bring money enough to cover myself. You're not yeah, of course. Yet. But I be worried about them not yeah, tip, tipping properly. Yeah. But you've been worse on. And you've been yeah. running them around. And you've been asking for stuff nonstop. Nah. And you don't want to tip. You see, the guy, like, when I was in Carolina L House, I was a great. I had a great waiter, but the food sucked. Mm -hmm. So I gave him a twenty dollars tip. Like thank you because we had a party or whatever. It was under yeah. eight. But I'm like I gave him a tip, and the other people in the party gave tips. But I gave him like mm -hmm. a twenty twenty five dollar tip. That's a good tip. Yeah, I'm like. And use by yourself. That's a. Real and they, good and tip. honestly, they actually work harder when they know they're gonna get a good tip. 
That's what I'm saying. They, they like really the do lady work that was it. doing my um, I haven't seen her in a while, but she would normally do my eyebrows. Mm-hmm. Like the first time she did my eyebrows, I tipped her the same as the bill. It's twelve to get them waxed, mm-hmm. and so I tipped her twelve. Mm-hmm. And so after that, every time I come up there, since so I open the door, oh, like, I'm coming to get her. Stop doing it. nails. She <laughs> stop doing what she doing. It should take me in the back. Go I wax my eyebrows real quick. Uh-huh. The tips to ensure prompt service, and that's and, and then that's normally how it works. Once people yeah. see that you like, you know that you're gonna take care of them when you come in. They want to make sure that they take care of you. Like it go hand to hand. I'm and then also like. Not just that they know. You you establish a routine with them. Mm-hmm. They will um, kind of like honor it because like mm-hmm. one of my friends like if I want to order something I don't have the money right now. It's like girl, you good? I send to you. I know when you get paid, you are right. gonna pay me. Yeah. I'm like yeah, that's that type of person. I'm like I feel wrong when I don't, when I do when I don't do right. I don't know. It's just yeah. like a like a rat on your your, your, <laughs> your upper arm or something like hmm, I don't know. I don't know. I always like karma be coming back. Karma be beating you like beating your ass. Eat the cake, anime. <laughs> you ain't gonna be able to take it with you. you ain't gotta be exactly, you exactly. And I always believe when you do right to us, you get, like you said, karma. You do right mm-hmm. to us, and come back to you. And that's how I've been raised. Like try to do right. You know, mm-hmm. I said I want the way to live. I want the way I live my life to be my bitch right. Don't let nobody else write my life story for me. Right. And it's no. about character, mm-hmm. not what you have. Character is a, a, a very, very, very important trait to have. Mm-hmm. People, people don't care don't about like it nowadays. No, no, they don't. They mm-hmm. don't. They don't care about it. They don't have no social skills. Are like such so lacking. Oh yeah, so lacking. Trash. They quick. I'm quick to text or whatever. Now. But at the same time, I like to be meeting people in person to interact, yeah. like reach out and touch mm-hmm. somebody's hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 So. I might not be big on talking on the phone, but that's because I would prefer to be face to face. I do too. I don't like talking on the phone like that, especially yeah. if you already talk on the phone, with, like with me for work, talk on the phone all the time. Like, man, when I clock phone. out, turn my phone off. I'm like, I don't got time for that. Lay on my bed, watch my TV, finish up some emails, and call it a day. Mm-hmm. I don't got time for all that other stuff. It's it's about my pain. And sometimes people be thinking that they could bully you when they're talking on the phone. I will they call tell you, oh, well, I'm not a texter. That's not my problem. Okay. You better get, you better get with the program. Friend. Look, text your friends and call me real quick. <laughs> so you get off the phone with them. <laughs> Ain't gonna lie, I did that with a couple of people. <laughs> You be having a setup going, man. So yes. Get you the phone. Yeah, I had this one. I love her. Then I had this one lady. I love her. Don't get me wrong, but she talked about something dumb. No, so I told her like, "Hey, come back in ten minutes." <laughs> like, all the phone with her. You are like, uh, crazy. Yeah, like you ain't do that before. Nah, I just get off the you phone. You really never did that before in your life. No, not tell. If I did some stuff like that, like tell somebody to call me, mm-hmm. it's because I'm actually around somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. call me like you got an emergency or whatever. Oh, because so me and the person is together. You yeah. know, and I'm trying to, you know, just call me. And, you know, yeah, get right. But not, like, get off the phone. Because I'm just be like, oh, let me call you back. Mm-mm. And then when you tell, no, nah, when you tell you gonna call them back, they gonna keep adding on to make this conversation longer <laughs> and longer <laughs> okay. and longer. Somehow be on the phone. But talking. you gotta say it in a way to make it seem like you're in a rush. I try. <laughs> let me hear how you do it. <laughs> so hey, like, hey, hey, let me call you. Let me call you right back. <laughs> hey, did I tell you about what happened? I got to go to. Let me you call can't you right even back. Let them get that out. Oh my That's God. how urgent it is. I just want. I need to start this like and click. <laughs> You can do I that can't too. click on the, I can't just click it down. Up. I just press the end button. Yeah, you can do that too. Just I, hang it I up. I tell you about you heard about that new song by Tone. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I swear to God, if I was I would choke hold you. Heard that new song by Tone. You are crazy. I, like, I hate when well, they do that. <laughs> that stuff used to go hard though. Nah, that top to the head. Nah. Like all that dumb. Touch the head because the face don't <laughs> Oh my god, too legit. What was it? Too legit. <laughs> too legit. What <laughs> I used to think I was gay. You're like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm the chain with it. No. <laughs> this girl's stupid. Or when uh, Joey used to be on Full House talking about uh, cut it out. Uh, oh, how did it go? <laughs> uh, cut it out. Something like that. <laughs> uh, Urkel, do you mind do that? <laughs> we used to be simple. These kids nowadays, they ain't kids no more. 
Shit. What was it that um what was it? Um Peace in the Middle East? Yes. Oh, that was so tough. lame. Said that, that was so like that did that. Okay. Okay, do run a minute. I don't know what some slang we used to have back in the day though. I used to like your mama jokes. Like I still be telling people that. Well, yeah, Idaho, you the hoe. Yeah, mama. That's just really quick. Your mammy. No. I say your mammy if I'm real pissed. <laughs> oh, I'm telling mama. <laughs> yeah, mammy. The girls will say that to each other like they ain't got the same mama. Okay. Mm. You know, they say that um, pubes is making a comeback. Right. Like bushes. Like hair. Nah, man. I'm sorry. Mm-mm. They say you're not supposed to, that's unhealthy to, um, like, cut it off, to, like, shave it, wax. A lot of stuff is unhealthy. You said, but you're not gone. A lot of stuff is unhealthy. I mean, they tell everything unhealthy shit. You know what's crazy, though, I realized? I ain't really realized it, but you know what's coming, like, happened more and more lately? What? Cancer. A lot of people getting cancer. Every time you turn around, somebody has cancer. Oh, they've been getting it. I mean, I know they've been getting it, but every time you turn around on news, somebody it's gets like cancer. Everybody had it. Everybody yeah. be ringing that bell down every, the timeline. Uh, like, damn. I'm like, dang. You know, like, dang. All yeah. types of cancer. I'm like, yeah. It's the food. Well, I ain't about to go be digging up no gardens in the backyard. <laughs> no, but you don't think it's, it's got to be. Well, you got the food. A lot of people were saying that the breast cancer was coming from, uh, like, deodorants. Like yeah, somebody certain, told me um, about that. Stop certain ingredients, on. certain chemicals in deodorants was causing it. Are you going to go on that hair relaxer lawsuit thing? Because no. we used to get them relaxers back in I the day. I did get a lot of relaxers, <laughs> but I don't have none of the disorders. I don't you gonna get on there? I don't know what the disorders. I mimic the well, got that <laughs> <laughs> I got st- 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 stuttering. I call that <laughs> olive oil, <laughs> super African green, pride. African pride, what kind of Girl, you is crazy. So, but no, um, I don't know. It just seems like every everybody say everything's unhealthy. Everything we do is unhealthy. What's mm-hmm. considered healthy? Like what's considered normal? Right. Like, but they say it's dangerous, like, to have that hot wax on your vagina. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> hot from the inside. A hot dick, hot lid. You don't matter where your pants are. It don't matter. Inside it out. Like. But when I was reading in the comments, it was a lot of men that was up there, and they was, like, of all ages. And they was like, oh, no, I like a bush. I like a bush. I like some hair. I like some hair. So they can floss their teeth? They said that they all of them had different reasons. Some was talking about pheromones coming out the bush. Mm-hmm. Some was just saying for look purposes, that's just what they prefer. Mm-hmm. Like they all was just saying the same thing. I was like, wow, mm. that, that's interesting. What What you think, J. Rom? You like a bush? You like wax? Like oh, okay. Okay. He said, get that stuff off of there. Yeah, there you go. But you know, it's more. I think. Age bracket though. That's what I was saying. Like all the old was different ages, oh. was even the younger ones. I would think the older ones, ones were like the younger that. ones was more so coming from a uh, like a woke standpoint. Like you know they just big on natural stuff and you know that type. You can put shea butter down there. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> but you know most of, most older heads they like a bush yard. Like as my old neighbor say that turtle soup. Turtle soup. No, my neighbor used to call the pussy that had a turtle soup. You ever heard that, J-Rob? No. He said that had a turtle soup. Somebody turtle, had a turtle soup. soup. Yes, this is the old, like, this is like 70. Turtle head? Nah, when you do it or whatever, it's just, I don't know, you just call it a turtle soup. I want to know why. I'm trying I don't to live there no more. I need to go knock on his door and ask him why. I might have to Google that. I'm pretty sure he ain't the only one. He's, he's in the 70s, you know? Yeah. He used to say, he, I call him Uncle Rucker because he's not Uncle oh Rucker from God. Boondock. But he said, yeah, I tell my homegirl April, tell April I want some of that turtle soup. <laughs> I don't like the- That don't even sound appetizing. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. It, it's it's like clam swamp. chowder. It's, it's me, <laughs> making me think of like a swamp or something. <laughs> a wildebeest. Like, uh-huh. me, I don't too much like, um, like if a man don't have no hair. Like, why are these balls naked like this? Like, and that's, I don't think that's what, what you man have going on. Mm. Like, it's just, ain't, it's nothing as long as it's tame. As long as I need it to be tamed. I don't need I'm it to be I don't have it off, like, porno style. I don't really too much 
I need a man to have something going on. Yeah, it, can't, it seems like it's like, to me, it's more masculine with a little head mm-hmm. down there. I just think mm-hmm. men, like, they say their armpits. Like, that's just too much for me. Yeah. I like men to be like men and women to be but like But we're women. thinking about the stereotypes of men, though. Like, what we're grown to. Like, if we're, like, we're conditioned beforehand that men got to be freshly shaved or whatever, that's what we want our man to be. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think it's just what society and stereotypes have out for us. Mm-hmm. You know? You think so? Yeah. But I don't get if you if you're gonna be bald, be bald everywhere. And everything. <laughs> Shit. You said be bald everywhere? Yeah, if you're gonna a man, if you're gonna be bald, be bald everywhere. Oh, Top Lord. down. Jesus. It seemed like that's what they be doing. Cause yeah. everything be gone. Hmm. But I I prefer you just leave it. Exactly. Just leave it regular. I don't like my man too. You might have, like, to, you might have to brush it up a little bit and get the kinks out of it. Keep it. <laughs> I don't mind a little taco meat. I don't like them too done up. Like, I don't like no man too. You like taco meat on the chest too? Yeah, I don't mind chest hair. Chest hair is cool. Because that's a man. Yeah. What about back hair? Um. I don't know. I just seen some people that was too damn here. Yeah, that now. shit like you got a damn black t shirt on. <laughs> Like a black t shirt like on. <laughs> like you got the whole back covered. I'm, I'm like, good on the back. Po- oh, don't let me poke that the white t shirt. <laughs> yeah. Like, and then be coming out their clothes. Can I cut that with some scissors? Or hair coming out their ears. Oh. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. My granddad had him out the ear, but he was 90. He could do that shit. But if you 30 or 20 with hair like you damn teen, teen wolf, <laughs> Michael shit. J. Fox, that's some questions on that one. I got some questions to them that need some answers done on that one, okay? I can't do it, no maintenance. Mm-mm, mm-mm. You can at least cut the hair in your ears. And you can't, if, listen, go to, go, go to, um, and get that bag. And kind of like. Yeah, sometimes you want your nose hair to meet your lips. No, the hell you don't. <laughs> they be sitting there with that deal hair hanging out their nose. Right, hold on. Is that book and all? Is that snot? No, that's hair. I was dealing with child. <laughs> Uh, it was too many days. You still talking to me with that hair hanging out. I had got some scissors. He was still talking. I just started clipping it. He was like, my hair hanging I out. I wanted to yeah, sound like his whistling. Is. You crazy. <laughs> you look like a wet cat. <laughs> they had a... Uncut. It'd be whistling. Mm-mm. Speaking of that, my nose. No. <laughs> but... Like all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about you, j Ron? You do a little ball. You, you like the manscape? Yeah. <clears throat> hey, quite he said he a wild. But you, but you prefer your person to be clean. That's how they are, girl. Yeah. They want you to be bald, and then they got all that going on. That sounds like controlling issues to me. A double standard. <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting there telling her that she got to get dressed like that. But I mean, I'm, hey. You just saying what you prefer. That's what I like. Mm-hmm. That's what you prefer. But if if she pull them drawers off I, and it ain't, look, you still gonna I, do what, it. What my I have an issue with is if I gotta take a machete to try to find. Oh, oh yeah, man. yeah, hell nah. This ain't door to explore. Right. Mm-hmm. Or Diego. What's her cousin name? Diego? I said Diego. Yeah, Diego. Yeah, I like you don't have share. I don't want share come up from between your legs. I get right. you. That long hair, nah shit. When it get when it start getting tangled in the in, <laughs> in the damn drawers, that's when you need to shake that shit up. When you try <laughs> to take you your drawers off the hair we right, like hold on to me, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, like, hold on, you this ain't King Uh uh-uh. You seen that latest? Um, she on Facebook, but she don't shave nothing, and she don't use soap. So she she, she got like a lot of hair under her arms. I ain't gonna lie though. I wonder how it used to be for soap was invented. How world used to smell back in the day. Mm-hmm. I'm like they had no toilet paper. What you just drip driving that car day? Be using um like stuff from the earth. Like, not soap, but probably, like, you know how certain leaves got certain smells, certain oils. They probably was using stuff like that. Sometimes I wish I had a time machine so I could say, hey, nigga, you stink. So you could go over there and be talking about the people. <laughs> <laughs> so most of them had a toilet paper. Uh, go back to Adam and Eve with them leaves. <laughs> they probably was sour. Probably. Shoot. No, at the same time, <clears throat> everybody wasn't outside. Like with outhouses and not having like running water and shit like that's that. That's one thing. Like, I'm so glad I'm not in the outhouse era. I don't feel like that stuff is as new as they make it seem. So I don't feel like everybody was outside like that. Some people was washing their ass and had them uh, 
you know, a good toilet and a bidet and shit like that. I feel like they had that. I don't know how the old school bidet used to work. Who put the water Ooh, in? Who used to have high water pressure? That's how I want my bidet. I want my bidet to turn all the way up on turbo. Listen, I was thinking about them hard workers back in the day, like those slaves and all that. I'm like, oh, oh I know yeah. them all. They need high water pressure. After a long, hard day like that and sweating and being outside. But people got running water now, still don't wash their ass. You damn skippy. You ever caught somebody taking a whole bath at your house? No, I ain't gonna lie though. No, not a whole bath because you've been doing a whole shit. Oh, somebody okay. Somebody just don't like to take. Oh, no, 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 no. I caught somebody taking. No, nah, I remember one time because the power, the, when nope. the hurricane came, this the power was just regular. Oh, regular stuff? No, that's nasty. Lied. It was acting like they was about to go and take a shower. Like oh, I know a couple people shower. like that. I know people like that. I yeah, know people like that. Face. That is nasty. Trying to make it seem like they was taking a real shower, right? Oh, just turn the water on, turn on the toilet. Yeah, so the, the water was running and everything, right? So I, I thought that I was going to like be spontaneous and shit. And I was going to open the door and go in there and go get in the shower with him. And oh, when I opened the door, oh, hell no. he was standing on the side of the shower. When my shower curtain pulled back with the water running, girl, washing his balls, and his balls only, like he still had his shirt on. He was just washing his balls, right? So I'm just You said I'm looking. Looking at the den, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But look, so I'm just standing there, and I'm looking. And I just watched him for a little bit, and he smelled the towel. And then I said, hey. And he jumped. And I fell out laughing. I was laughing. I was laughing. He was so mad. But I think he was mad because he was embarrassed. He got caught. He was mad because he got caught. He nasty. And had his clothes laid out. I bet he don't wash the behind his, his ears. Had either. his clothes like laid out on the floor. Like as if he, you know, like really laid out. Like the shirt was up here and lined up with the pants. And I just was so confused by the whole mm-hmm. thing. Like, mm-hmm. what is going on? How long you been doing this? Like, how long mm-hmm. have you been acting he like you've been prison washing? He's wash his hands after he take a piss and you shit. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It made me question everything. Mm-hmm. From there on out. I'm like, you know what? You cool, that. but don't call me no more. Don't call me no more. Don't text me no more. Don't say no more. It's cold or no smoke. So nothing. There'd be no a more. lot of people like that. that don't wash their ass. Uh uh-uh, uh. That's just. And a lot uh-uh. of women don't know how to uh, wipe properly. Front. Wait, wait. Hold on. I said front to back. <laughs> yeah, you're yeah, right. Front to back. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. That's how I do that. Uh uh. Nah, that's just. This old lady told me one time because I was talking about something dealing, you know, like with wiping or whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. And I was like, uh, might have said the same thing I just said <laughs> about people not knowing how to wipe their ass properly. I was like, mm-hmm. yeah, like front to back. She was like, what you mean front to back? I said, that's how you're supposed to wipe from front to back. She was like, well, how do you know that that's the way you got to do it? I said, oh, God. That means you ain't been doing it right. That's what I tell my girls all the time. You got to do cool to the boot. Okay. Because you know, the bacterial the stuff. Right. Yeah. Right. I mean, like, that's common sense. Or don't wipe it off. <laughs> they they do that. What about the lady um that's new movement or the free bleed movement? Oh no. I saw I saw something like that like a couple years ago. Mm-mm. And that's um it was some you know what's up there on them commercials doing that too, right? The what? The trannies. Trans my friend said I'm offensive because she said I don't say it right. The people that have changed their sex. What you call it? I know you call it. Well, I know it's well, you know they identifying as something else. It's a lot of identification. I don't know what to say. Yeah, I don't be It's a lot of A, B, C, D, F. I don't have, I don't know. Please excuse me, y'all, if I take offense. But it's to me that. Add no. Yes. I just, yeah. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Letter it better be out of alphabets. You a, um, you a Zeta, too? No. Mm-mm. Oh, okay. Mm-mm. Just the Eastern Star. Eastern Star is and blue and white. And Alpha no. What's the color for Eastern Star? We're not blue and white. We got a couple. We got a lot of different colors. <laughs> what? We got a lot of different colors. Oh, nothing, sure. <laughs> <laughs> you are so crazy. Yeah. Oh yeah, because it'd be like different chapters. No, it's just different colors. It's not different. I mean, there are different got chapters. No color? We have the five main colors that we go by. Mm, five. Mm. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. You know, everybody be having a color. I thought y'all had a set color. Mm-mm. But all the colors that these the stories and fraternities have are based yeah, upon us. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Everything's a spinoff. Just You're like right. religions. You're right. 
it'll spin it off, but it, it came from you one know, common one religion. Place. Yeah, it came from one yeah. origin. But I, I did, and like I said, in college, I did Alpha Omega, which was a service fraternity, a co-ed service fraternity. Mm-hmm. And then when I graduated from college, I did Eastern Star and other, the different ones at the household are roofing other different things under the whole umbrella. Okay. Yeah. I, 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 I like it, and I mean, I'm learning from all these different things. It's it's, it's, it's learning experience, but I like it, everything like that. But I'm not against doing one more organization, and I'll be done. You already got one in mind that you want to do? Yeah. You do? Mm-hmm. And it's going to be services as well? You like to start Always people. based upon services. All these organizations are based upon services. They can do the other. And is that why you like, have done more than one? Because you like to serve? You like to serve your community? Yeah, I do. I do. I have a lot of ideas I want to do. I just need to execute them better. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. You ever dated somebody younger than you? How much younger? It don't matter. I have. I would say over five years. No. Oh, well, they wasn't really. Or have I? Most of the people I interact with, they're older than me. Mm-hmm. I had maybe like three or four that were younger than me. Mm-hmm. But, but it was all less than five years? I think one at the most was like six, if I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. But that was just a brief a fling in the air. <laughs> <laughs> what was your review about the younger people, what you think? What you liked and what you didn't like. I like, you know, I can't go maturity not based on age, of course. The younger person, he was a cool person and everything like that, but yeah, his mind wasn't where right I wanted to be at right then and there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I had this experience with older men in my that I dealt with. Like, one guy I used to do, he just better smoke weed and drink. I'm like, I don't got time for all that. Mm-hmm. Uh-uh. Yeah, that is true. Uh, your yeah. mindset got to be where it is. Yeah, it don't matter about the age. They might will be fried. Okay. I'm I'm more of a, I'm an old school kind of thinker when it comes to things like that. Like, mm-hmm. before I go out and get drunk, I need to make sure my bills are paid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Some people are just like, yo, I got like $3. Like, get me a, a Michelob or something like that. <laughs> because, like, no, like, no, say that. Do something with that $3, you know? Right. But, no. Nah, have you ever dated something? Not dated, for real. The girl's dad is a little bit younger than me, but not, like, nothing worth talking about. Um, I'm at the beginning of the year. He at the end. Like, the very end. Mm. Like, <clears throat> like that. I probably start dibbling and dabbling with younger folks mm-hmm. around, like, probably about five years ago. Mm-hmm. Everybody else had always either been my age or older. I've always gravitated towards older people. Like, we just click better. Conversation wise to me. Yeah, like but that. the younger folks, I tried that out. They um I just know for a fact I couldn't do nothing like serious with nobody like way younger than me. They cool to have fun with, but mm-hmm. we just on two different levels. I don't know. I mean, when I turn 50, I ain't with somebody. I'm like, shit, between five years and everybody would do think, that. But I think past a certain age, everybody kind of started blending in. <laughs> like, for instance, um, if you like forty, mm-hmm. you can still do something with somebody that's like thirty five, or maybe yeah, I say like thirty five. If if you a woman that's forty, you can you can click with with a guy that's like uh, thirty five. If you a man that's older, you know, because women. They say they tend to mature faster, so mm-hmm. y'all have a better chance linking up and actually clicking. But the older woman, mm-hmm. she can't go too young when it comes to guys. Like not nothing serious, cause he ain't his mind ain't all the way right just yet. But when it comes to women, they go with a younger man that's gonna consider a cougar. But that's when a guy, they're like, oh, that's cool. Daddy. Yeah, they, it's it's more acceptable for the guy than it is for a female. Mm-hmm. Now, what's the oldest that you will go to? Hi, the oldest that you will consider. Like how much At this age. Mm-hmm. Girl, you know you're 25 and holding. Um, lately, I say like in the past year, I've met guys that, uh, they like my parents' age. Like I had went out, I went out with a guy a little while ago. Mm-hmm. He's 60. He'll be 61 in May. No, I'm sorry. I can't do that. Over. It did. <laughs> I don't know what I mean. Another guy, he's, uh. 
<clears throat> he'll be <laughs> he'll be sixty five in July. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> he collected the retirement no, already. No, nah, because when I be telling people about over the bed, I think they be thinking that I'm talking about like two, three. Look, nah, nah you, you got a whole about, generation. I know what I'm talking about. But like the first time I dealt with somebody that was older than me, I was twenty, and he was like thirty nine. No, I don't think the highest up. I think the, I think me, the highest I went was 10 years difference. But see, I'm old though. So when we be talking or like if we go out and we be hanging out, mm-hmm. we be talking about the same stuff like Cooley High. <laughs> I talk about that with people my age. Right. That's what I mean. Like I always click with people that's older than me anyway. Uh, oh, so. You see, I just was up, I was up watching Bewitched all day. So but still, 65? A lot of the stuff that oh, they be talking earring. about, I know about. Like, and we just. We just quit. And I, when the, the guys is older, I don't like them to be older acting young. I want them to be older, regular older. <laughs> I remember this one guy. I was at a New Year's party. I was, what, 32, something like that. Dude came in, got some cowboy boots on, some jeans, and a hat trying to talk to me. Money. I asked him, I'm like, so how old are you? He's like, I'm 50. And I'm like, dude, you about, when I was in my 20s, like, you old enough to be my daddy. Like, nah, I'm but good. he wasn't your daddy. Nah, I did not. And he had some money. I just, and my mom said he was just too damn old. Money but why enough. he too old though? I just can't see myself. I don't know. I just can't. Mm-mm. I can't. I, I can't really answer that. But see, you might be missing out. I guess I am. I just need to go to the nursing home and go pick <laughs> <laughs> one. You don't need to go to the nursing home. They still out and about. They still working. They still chilling. Look, let me tell you, mm-hmm. the one that's about to be um sixty six. No. Oh, sixty one. I don't gotta lie him up with my my mama. Damn. He the year after my mama. That's why I can't do it because it's like twenty twenty four. My mama about to be sixty. Yeah, so he about to be, he's about to be 65. Mm-hmm. So, girl, I thought he had died, right? Oh, damn. So we had, <laughs> look at Jay Rose's face. <laughs> so we had went out, we went to go uh, to this Mexican restaurant. Now, me, I don't ride with people like, I got to meet you there. Mm-hmm. So I met him there, and then when he comes in, he was telling me he had been pre-gaming in the car. Oh, yeah, that's what he, he did. He said he had a bottle of Casamigos in the car. So he had took a couple shots before he had came in. Mm-hmm. So when he comes in, you know, I had my margaritas, and I think he probably had two more shots. Mm-hmm. So then, excuse me, we go to his house because he said he got some meds, you know, mm-hmm. some weed. Mm-hmm. So we go to his house, but I was getting it to, like, take it with me. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but he was like, oh, you might as well go ahead and, you know, smoke you one while you're here or whatever. Yeah, I'm, I pay for you to do even, right here. You know, smoke. So I had to roll me, you know, a little blunt or whatever. Mm-hmm. So we talking, and he wanted to hit the blunt. So I had to pass it to him, so we still talking, hitting the blunt, whatever, whatever. So then I look over, and it's like his eyes rolled in the back of okay. his head like that, right? <laughs> oh, let me back up. When I first get there, I had uh-huh. to use the bathroom. So I go in the bathroom, use the bathroom, but it's a medicine bottle on the uh oh, yeah, that by <laughs> by the the honey seat. pack. It's a medicine <laughs> bottle by the sink. <laughs> so I googled it, right? Oh hell. I googled it because I'm like, you know, it Ain't could no be anything. Break. But not like I was really I ain't had no interest on messing with him like that for real, no way. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. So I Google it, it's high blood pressure medicine. Oh Jesus. Right. Mm. But at the time, I didn't think about it. But he really shouldn't have been going as hard as he was going if you were on the medications like that. Especially the shots alone. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, so we, you know, mm-hmm. we smoking whatever. I'm going to get you and I, look, and I see his eyes rolling in the back of his head or whatnot. Yes. So then he just like, he, he goes like this, right? But his eyes is open. <laughs> so I'm like... <laughs> So I stopped talking, so I'm looking, and I'm like, hey, hey, you know, and so I grabbed his wrist like this, girl, and it's cold. It was cold. Oh, he died for 10 Listen, seconds? It's cold, right? This you got to remember, no, no, but I grabbed it. I hadn't uh, checked his post yet. I was uh-huh. about to check his post, but as soon as I grabbed his hand, it felt cold. I'm like, what the hell? Uh-huh. And you know, you know I'm high. So, you know, you be high sometimes you get paranoid. So I'm right high. Okay, Smokey. I'm thinking the most. Like, <laughs> this nigga here dead. 
So uh, I had hit his face like this. Mm-hmm. Hey, hey, hey. And he didn't do nothing. So right off the bat, I grabbed my purse and my keys. And I'm like, fuck this. I'm about to leave. But then when I got, <laughs> when I got to the door, I said, no, nah, I can't leave a bit here like that. So I walked back over to him or whatever. So I'm hitting him again, like trying to tap him. And he's still like this or whatever. You know, I'm just messing with him. So then I get my phone. They and call I call 911? Yeah, so I dialed 911. As soon as the lady said, um, this is 911, what's your emergency? This motherfucker says, <gasps> it sits up and I hang up the phone. I was oh, so God. They mad. still ain't come out there because somebody can still trace it. He called, she called back. Oh, okay. They'll call back if you okay. hang up. So she called back or whatever, and then I told her everything was fine. But I cussed him out so bad. I said, what is wrong with you? I thought you was dead. You just passed out. You ain't saying nothing. You on high blood pressure. He woke up like he's coming to vampire. He like, right. He, like, <laughs> he said, sometimes I just blank out like that. He says, I think I did too much. I probably shouldn't have hit that blunt. Yeah, you really think? He got heart issues, too. He, he either had issues. the high blood medicine. And heart medicine, probably. The Casamigos. No, I'm just talking about he four woke shots up. shots of Casamigos. <laughs> You're not supposed to be drinking like that, taking that. That uh, blood pressure medicine like that. I never seen that man again after that scary. I wasn't either because that did that, 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 Hell no. Mm-mm. Older man's supposed to be for fun. Are you in there dying? The older man is where check the CPR. <laughs> check the CPR. <laughs> check the balls. <laughs> he was is in he... there passed out cold. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. He said, You called 911 for real? I said, Hell yeah. yeah I, I ain't got to be up there. I seen CSI. They were found when your hair particles down there. Exactly. Like, That's why I look. I turned around and I said, Either way, they're going to be able to find me. I might as well just stay here and tell true. my story. Well, I ain't do nothing. No I foul said, play. His arm was cold. And when I said that, he was like, Oh, yeah. Like it had happened before. That's, oh, not, yeah. that's not. He had heart issues. No. I ain't no doctor. He do sound like he had heart issues. And after that, he kept calling and was, like, trying to go hang out and stuff like that. He threw me off, and Mm-mm. I don't got time for all the Mm-mm. type of problems. You know, I'm quick to know somebody, though. And then he just wore out, so now he don't contact me Is no more. still alive, though? I hope so. Maybe, because I was just assuming he got tired of calling me and me blowing him off, and that's why I ain't heard from him. I hope I ain't, like, not heard from him because he did. I mean, I hope he's still alive, though. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, I hope he is still alive. But, yeah, oh, man, it's cool. You need to try it. You didn't even try it. Y'all gonna be in the same into the same stuff. Last week when I seen you tell me you went to the American Legion. Oh yeah, I went there because of my friend's birthday. But that's what I'm saying. You I, and the old man, y'all have a good time. Y'all be in I'm the not same re- stuff. I don't regularly go out to American Legion. Where you normally go? I don't. Last time I really went out somewhere, like I don't really go out like that. I really don't. You be somewhere, or you just be partying in the house. Local, keep it low key. People I know, the safest way to go. But I want you to try an older man like this year. <laughs> You'll give me damn for real. Cold try cold it out. Turn around, it's right here, man. That's how that older man go do it. Go take charge for that mic in your face. How much older are you talking? Um, I feel like ten years. I feel like that's not enough. The new 50-year-olds, they still kind of childish. You need somebody to see. He sit his ass down. Sunday I'm 40. Morning, that means he got to be 78. 9 o'clock. <laughs> he got them damn beans in the crock pot. The, the game church. come on at 12. <laughs> he about to sit on that recliner all day and nod off and watch the game and check his beans and nod off. When the sun go down, he going to cut his grass. Like, you know, regular like that. So you need somebody about 60. Mm-hmm. He chilling. Okay, okay. He ain't keeping up no fuss. He ain't doing too much. I don't like no older man to be trying to act young. Sit your ass down. <laughs> Sit your old ass down. For real. And that man that, had, that I thought died, he was doing too much. He was doing too much. Oh, damn, yeah. Casamigos. He was doing too much when you talking about that. What is, is that tequila, too? Yeah, it's tequila. But, you know, he was trying to keep up with the trend. The song. And in the song. Casamigos. They have yeah. a lot of songs. That was a little slow jam song. He needed like an old man, old like an older man song. drink. E and J. Crown. Older man drinking no E and J. Huh? E and J, that's the old, older man on the social security check. 
drink. Hey, that chick. I need that. I need that. I need the older man to so crown something like that. The that's older so man that do say something like that. Well, as long as he gonna get you your crown black, you don't need to worry about it. You know what I'm saying? Like you can read the irk and jerk. He gonna have all the things you like waiting on you when he older. Them older men be sitting down I'm trying to tell you. You gotta try it out now. You should have been on older men when you was in your twenties. You should have been on older men. I mean, every person I talked to was older than me, but I just can't see myself over over ten years older than me. So ten years is the max. Right now, for me, I would say that unless I meet somebody, if I do meet somebody compatible, a little older than me, I'm not gonna go. I ain't gonna lie. I love you. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to sixties. Uh. Uh-uh. You ain't even tried it. Have you had somebody that was ten years older than you? Mm-hmm. How old were you at the time? I was actually he was eleven years older. I was nineteen and he was thirty. No, thirty one. Oh, okay. Yeah. How was that? He was still kinda young though, but how was that? I was still kinda young learning too. Mm-hmm. I'm a I was late bloomer when it comes to the whole relationship, anything really. Mm-hmm. So I say about them late bloomers. <laughs> the late bloomers. Oh, that crazy. Better come, it better come closer. Uh-oh. He said he got to hear this. He was a late bloomer. Then what? <laughs> I, was, I was a late bloomer. So I did. That was the first kind of relationship that I was really in. So I didn't really know what to really. Uh, a relationship as an adult. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? When you're younger, that's a different story. But as an adult, 30, it's a 31. different, you know? Uh-huh. So I guess it, it was okay and eye-opening as well. So It was eye-opening? Yeah. You feel like you learned something from him? Don't trust a new nigga over there. Oh, shit. <laughs> in the air. Oh, my God. Okay. Every person, every, I ain't gonna try to hold or whatever, but every person, even friend-wise, I know or whatever, I'm still learning. I'm mm-hmm. still learning and learning and learning, so. hmm Yeah. Yeah. I remember when I was a freshman in uh, college when I was 18, somebody told me I could get food stamps as long as I was in school and worked like 10 hours a week. <laughs> Girl went down there and uh, filed for them food stamps. And my caseworker tried to talk to me, and he was like 32. See, you but see, I match. was still at that point where I was like, this fucking weirdo. Like, then I thought it was weird, so I ain't talked to him. What class you went to? Auntie. Oh, uh, it's time for me to go. Mm-mm. Damn, where you was at? Central? I was at UNCG. Oh. Oh, we <laughs> landed? <laughs> we landed them all y'all was at our campus, okay? Party, party. Don't be like that. I just, I just met you. We are going to not be cool no more. <laughs> we didn't even say that to Shar. Why you? No, the way he. <clears throat> how you know he ain't got allergies? The, the, the shit. The way he hit that baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best thing for the allergies. No. You know that? Don't piss out my back. <laughs> Try to convince me it's raining, motherfucker. No. <laughs> as soon as you say, I just. I uh-uh. was what what, what, what happened with UCG, sir? Not though they said so. Yeah, I was just clicked up a minute ago. Now nah, we already broke up. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody didn't like their lunch. That's their fault. The campus has grown immensely. Every it has. Down it has. Road. Yeah. It I, has. I'm proud of it. You know, I mean, 18 UCG. You know, we used to be at each other's. Exactly. I used to have a lot of UCG parties though. UCG Yo, parties, NC lie. State parties. They don't want to be at a party. What? I don't even know how to party. Man, oh my God. Yo, this is so cool. <laughs> got the kids and everything. And yes. you got to do up but show up. Exactly. You ain't got brain shit. Exactly. You ain't got Beyonce shit. They be happy exactly. to see you too. I ain't gonna lie though. I went to Black Fun. Like, I didn't yeah, know I you was in Greensboro. Yep. That probably was the Lord's work, making sure we ain't get together in Greensboro. <laughs> that would have been terrible. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been terrible. I, I ain't gonna say I ran UCG campus, but a lot of people knew me on campus there. I, was, I can see that happening. Because the type of person I am. Well, do you I go back it. to like the, um, do y'all have homecomings? We don't have a football team. We have, get, we do have some uh, in, events. We got <laughs> soccer, the real <laughs> football. <laughs> soccer. Jerry, she said we have get together. <laughs> she said we ain't got no football team. We be having kickbacks. Yeah, we have a kickback. <laughs> no jack. But no, um, they do. Soccer. soccer is football. Though. It is. You're right. But no, we have events, different events for the week. Because um, I'm thinking yeah. about somebody I saw posting. Uh-huh. And I'm thinking it's like homecoming. But at the same time, I'm like, no, nah, because something's missing. <laughs> it could have been homecoming. 
Uh, I mean, we got homecoming at church, <laughs> man. The football. <laughs> it's a game. There's a game there. It ain't gonna be the game you want. <laughs> but it's the game there. It's a soccer game. Space. Oh my god. Now we oh, have we... soccer. We have baseball. I said so, Mister. He said yeah to get. <laughs> what? Oh, well, churches have homecomings, but they don't have football teams. <laughs> no, he's not worth that coming. <laughs> oh, it's a kickback. <laughs> it's a jubilee. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. Okay. Oh, I, thought well, I, I, got, I pay harder money for my degree. She I got posted. That's right. Hell, shit. Okay. You did right. Greensboro is cool, though. Somebody was just talking about... um moving to Greensboro. I was like, well, no, I wouldn't say all that. I feel like Greensboro would be in a college town. You should only really be trying to move there for things. It's better than colleges and like, uh, they got a lot of like factories and stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But if you're not in those fields where you're probably going to be able to find a job, I wouldn't just be running to Greensboro. Let me say about Raleigh if you want to think about it. No. Greensboro is every time I think about Greensboro, I just strictly think about school, like colleges and a cigarette factory, <laughs> colleges and factories, and that's it. But Raleigh has a lot of different things. Everything, that you any field that you in, you could get a job in Raleigh doing whatever. <laughs> in Greensboro or Raleigh? Raleigh. Shit, Fayetteville getting there. I want to know how much Lake in the Pines charging now. Oh, girl, it is at least a thousand. That's like, what, and, and I Pines swear to God, I, like, I know Lake in the Pines got to be a thousand by now. Man, the car, but they don't want to give the, going up. They don't want to give us more money as pay, like statewide or whatever. Ain't that crazy? To get to, I remember this guy was saying that for to live comfortably in Fayetteville, you need to make at least twenty four dollars an hour with one mm-hmm. job. Ever since I was working, where I was aged to work, and graduate college, I had I did not have under one job ever. You okay. never just had one job. You've always been in Jamaican. Bum o'clock. What is that about? <laughs> you just like to. You feel more secure when you got more, or you just like to stay busy. I'm accustomed to a certain way of living. Okay then. And I'm going to my best try to. Meet those requirements. Come on, yeah. Okay, yeah. That's all I get. I mean, but you don't feel like you would be able to just do one job and still meet the requirements. I'm so used to doing that. that I don't know how it will be. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I think you got a little mix of need to stay busy in there as well. That it's yeah, because like I don't know how it will function. We just have one thing. See what I'm saying? Yeah. See what I mean? Because you ain't got no anybody over there knocking you between the washer and dryer. Shit, if I hit me, that's a lot of work. Then you need to free some time up. Mm-hmm. No consistency. I know, that's right. Because I don't be freeing my time up for no meat either. It got to be consistency for, all, for me to do all that. If I don't have that consistency, I ain't going to free your time up. Mm-mm. Right. Like somebody's supposed to be excited because you done popped up. If you got a little set situation. I don't do different. pop-ups and they better not do pop-ups. <laughs> oh, hell no. Yeah, you better let me know when up. you're coming. Man, what? <laughs> you need to wait for an invitation. Okay. Because you get might get invited. <laughs> and not no dry hey, Let me know you're 20 minutes away. <laughs> <laughs> not 20 minutes away. I need to check in. I'm okay. my mind. I'm like, mm, I probably got my hair bond on and everything. I'm like, nah, I'm here, man. I'm good. Shit, when I'm in that bed, I'm in that bed. You're just crazy. Okay, Rome, you've been keeping track of time. I had a timer set, and I ain't even hit the um start. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's longer than what I had. What I had planned. So I need to clap again. Bing. It's like when my friend, my own um, cousin does hypnosis. Yeah, I ain't about to do that shit. Oh my, but it was great. What did he do it with that? It was so good. Like he do it in his office. He's in Virginia. But we did it online. He hypnotized me online. No, that's too creepy. Well, it's creepy. I don't know. I, I don't know. You need to stop saying all this stuff and you ain't never did the stuff. You gotta I, at, I, at least try I did first. one try hypnosis. I don't think I'm saying all